Hello. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a yoni steaming labor preparation protocol. So before I begin with the protocol, this is a protocol that is safe for women that are healthy and don't have any issues that have been identified throughout their pregnancy or prior to pregnancy, perhaps. So if you have any issues, I mean, I would say consult your doctor, but pretty much every doctor, if you ask them about yoni steaming, they're going to think you're weird and crazy. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Um, but if you, if they've identified that there are some kind of issues with your cervix or the placenta or anything that steaming maybe wouldn't be appropriate, you could also reach out to me too, to ask if, if steaming may or may not be appropriate for you specifically. Um, so this is the protocol that I used when I was pregnant for my labor preparation. I did go a little bit past dates, but it was my first pregnancy. So it's possible that that is why. Um, so it's not necessarily like a labor induction, but it's just basically preparing your cervix. It's ripening your cervix and it's helping to soften your pelvic muscles to help the labor process be a little bit more smooth and efficient. And there's a lot of other practices that you can do as well. So this isn't kind of like a one-stop shop situation, but it's a wonderful addition to a labor preparation um, plan. So with all of that said, the way that you'll do this is by the time you get to 37 weeks, it is safe for you to steam, but there are some nuances to that. So if you, I'm going to link my other um, video at the bottom of this where I talk about a mild and an advanced steam setup. So in all of this for labor preparation, if you're ever steaming while you're pregnant, which the only time you would be doing that is for labor preparation, you'll always want to be doing a mild steam setup. And the way that you do it is slightly different because you might want to reheat the water in between. So this will make more sense as we go. So basically at 37 weeks, you can start to steam one time that week. So it could be the day that you get to 37 weeks. It could be midway between 37 and 38. It could be the day before you start, before you get to 38 weeks. It doesn't really matter exactly, but just one time that week. And you'll be wanting to work with some kind of like moisturizing herbs, some moisturizing, some movement. Um, so all of my blends are really balanced in that way, but they are the herb dosage and the herbs that they contain are slightly different depending on what the goals are. So my moisturizing blend, so I'm only talking about my blends in particular because I'm most familiar with them. There's other blends and other herbs that you could potentially use. If you're an herbalist, go for it, go wild. So moisturizing is what we're looking for at 37 weeks. So you'll do it one time for 10 minutes and it's with a mild steam setup. So what a mild steam setup means, I highly recommend you watch the other video too, so you can get the full trajectory of the mild versus advanced. So, but just to throw it out there, the mild steam setup is that you boil the herbs for 10 minutes and then you take the lid off and you remove the entire pot from its heat source. So it won't have a burner underneath it. It will just be kind of cooling off as you go and you want to make sure that it's a really comfortable temp temperature especially if you're doing it for labor preparation err on the side of caution and go for slightly cooler than too hot but oh i mean don't be too scared that it's going to do anything bad or wrong it's it can be kind of like a facial feeling um that sort of like steamy and warm, but not burning at all. So it shouldn't be burning anyways, even if you're steaming for other reasons. So then when you get to 38 weeks is when you can start steaming daily and you'll be using the same blend. So the, the idea is cooling, moisturizing, uh, moving, softening at this time. So you'll do a daily steam for 10 minutes, mild steam setup same kind of thing, but you're just doing it every day. And then when you get to 39 weeks, you can switch to the clearing blend, which is has a lot more uh, moving, but it's not, um, there's another blend that I have that is called the moving blend. And that's definitely a lot more invigorating for your blood, 
um, a lot more herbs in there that are going to really promote blood circulation. So the clearing blend is kind of a more subtle form of that. Um, in acupuncture, it would be more of like a chi movement, like so an energetic movement versus a blood movement, which is more gross physical kind of movement. So you can still do a daily steam and you're using this different blend, the clearing blend. And then at this point, you can do a 20 minute steam. So the, because you're only doing a mild steam, you still won't have a burner underneath as you would in an advanced steam setup, but probably by the time you get to 20 minutes, it would be completely cooled off. So what you can do is do like a 10 minute steam in the morning and then a 10 minute steam in the evening. And then you'll just do the mild as you were doing previously, or you could re reheat the water in between. So for a lot of women, by the time they get to 39 weeks, depending on what your situation is, I don't want to make any assumptions, but by the time women get to 39 weeks, they're usually not working as much and they have a little bit more downtime. So if you can make a really lovely ritual of having this extra space and time in your schedule, then yeah, steam in the morning, steam at night, have like a really cozy time with it, make it fun and relaxing candles, essential oils, not in the steam, but in a diffuser or just smelling them or putting them on your wrist, um, incense, whatever you like, whatever makes you feel really relaxed and comfortable. So, so that's 39 weeks. So that's 20 minutes. And then once you get to 40 weeks, so that's technically like your due date. Um, so once you get to 40 weeks, then you can start steaming for 30 minutes at a time. So basically you could do 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening. You could do three times of 10 minutes or um, yeah, basically it wouldn't stay warm for the full 30 minutes. So you can set it up however it works, but you'll have to reheat the water in between. So that's just part of steaming for labor preparation. You just wanna be careful that it doesn't get too hot. Um, and then you're using the same blend, you're using the clearing blend and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then yeah, if you went beyond 40 weeks as I did, um, so my daughter was born at 41 weeks and three days, I just kept up with that same protocol um, throughout that whole time until she was born. And then you can start steaming also in the postpartum phase um, once the bleeding is lessening which is an indication that the uterine artery is closed and then it's safe to start steaming. Um, I'll probably make another video about postpartum steaming in particular. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is helpful for labor preparation and you feel confident. And if you have any questions, definitely reach out holly at rosebudwellness.com. And you can also find more information uh, about my practice and me at rosebudwellness.com and on Instagram at rosebud underscore wellness. So I would love to hear from you.